Hey guys, welcome back to another Petals on the Paving Slabs video. This one is about broad bean rust. It's a fungal disease on broad bean plants and it looks like little dark brown spots as you can see there and around the edges of them there's a lighter coloured um, halo if you will. Now, it's caused by a fungal infection that, that it happens when uh, there's, you've got high humidity levels well typical British summer it has been raining loads warmth we, we've had it warm as well it's like muggy um, normally happens late summer uh, which is important because when we come on to how we do we go about preventing this the earlier you plant your broad bean plants the more chance you've got of the plants surviving before it's that kind of time of year like now when the uh, broad bean rust happens and also when you put your plants too close together the air can't circulate around them and dry them out because moisture, that humidity, high humidity levels is one of the uh, growth requirements for the, the fungus that causes it. Right, how do we deal with it then? Well, it's a bit late now because they're already planted but if you plant them out with more spacings, although to be fair, I think these were planted out quite well spaced. Um, but if, yeah. The, the more space that you put around your plants, the more chance you've got that air can circulate and dry them out. Also, plant them early, as I mentioned. Right, getting rid of this, we're going to have to burn this plant material. You don't want to compost this, because the spores of the fungus can stay uh, dormant in your compost. So, we're going to have to, I'll cut all these plants down with my secateurs, and then any plant that I cut with them, um, that's going to get put in a separate pile for burning. But also, once I've done all the infected plants, so that I don't spread those spores around the rest of the garden cutting other things, I'm going to disinfect these secateurs. Right, it's, what, else, um, what else can I tell you? Ah, if like us, you've got broad bean rust, but you've still got pods on the plant. The general consensus is, is that the beans inside should still be all right to eat. So I'm gonna test that theory now. Let's get this pod. Right, I don't know if you can see, there's just a little bit of rust. Not that black spot. There's some, there are some little freckles of rust on this pod. So let's see if I can open it one-handed. And the theory is that the beans should be rust free. Yes, they look good to me. Can't see any uh, signs of rust on there. Yes, yeah, so if you have got broad bean rust, all is not lost. Your beans should still be all right to eat. But remember that, um, remember that hygiene so you don't spread the fungus around. When you've stripped them out of the pods, don't be tempted to put the pods in your compost where the spores can survive and then it'll reinfect you next year. You want to treat the pods once you've got the beans out, just like your infected plant material, and burn it and get rid of it by burning. Right, so that's about it. Um, if anyone else has got broad bean rust in the UK, let me know. I'll be, I'll be interested to see uh, what parts of the country are getting hit by it, or is it just like where it's quite damp where I live, or is it is it UK wide? And likewise in America as well. Is it something that happens? much in America broad bean rust see that one there it's, it's got it quite bad as this one uh, yeah these are ready for cutting off now getting rid of and uh, we'll, we'll burn them right so thanks very much guys please subscribe for more free gardening related videos